This is my old transmitter. I still love using it, but I need it to output ExpressLRS. My plan is to remove these old FM components and install this module in their place. I modeled up this part of the housing to incorporate a nano-sized module bay. Let's see how it looks. These modules use a pin header to interface with the handset. Beta FPV sells these adapters and this one came bundled with my module. I'll be taking it apart to use its pin header. The Beta FPV adapter comes with this pigtail to convert the JST GH connector to a common server connector. It can work, but I decided to use the other plug on the pin header. It's a 5 pin JST SH connector, and it works a bit better in my opinion. I made a MOSFET power board to interface with my radio. It will allow the radio to control power delivery to the module. And now to power up. The radio boots normally and the flashing red LED indicates normal current draw. Flipping over, the blue LED on the module indicates that it is running. Now I will test the ability to disable RF output. All appears normal with the red LED indicating low current draw and the module having no indication because it is switched off. Now I'm going to test with a simulator plug. The radio has booted up normally, indicates RF output and the module indicates the same. Watch the blue LED as I connect the simulator plug. Perfect, the radio switches off the module as it should. I use ELRS Buddy to change some defaults in my module. Be sure to watch my other videos showing how to connect a module for this. Link in the description. I suggest to adjust packet rate to 100 or 50 Hz. These are fast enough for PPM and lower rates provide better range. I also disable telemetry since it is pointless on this old handset. Okay, that is all. Goodbye.